everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's upload i'm going to be doing the highly requested makeup tutorial now i must say i am not a makeup artist i'm not a professional i just do what works for my face and if you want to learn how i do my makeup or how to get this look please keep watching beauty water I already exfoliated my face, but right before I apply any makeup products, I like to mist my face with my beauty water. It is a pH of 6.0, which is more acidic on the pH scale, so it eliminates oils and bacteria and tightens my skin, so it gives me that ultimate glow. All right guys, let's get to the makeup tutorial. So first I start with the Pore Professional by Benefit. This is a primer. I put about a pea size evenly across my face. I always stroke upward to just prevent, you know, pulling my face downward because, you know, we don't want wrinkles or sagginess over time. So today I'm going to use the matte foundation by Too Faced called Born This Way, and I use natural beige, put an even amount, <laughs> okay, okay, I just go by feel, so I use a foundation brush, I used to use a beauty blender, but I wanted to try the brush as recommended by, you know, makeup gurus on YouTube. And I find it to be quicker, smoother, and it's fun to like paint your face, you know? So I go down the jawline, kind of down, kind of down the neck, not really. I'm normally closer to the mirror behind this camera, so it's a little rough doing it from far away, but I'll make sure it's good before I move on. Next I use a powder brush by Morphe, there is no number, I got this in a set. So after I apply my foundation, I put on a powder by Lancome called Dual Finish. Looks like so. It's kind of rough, I can't see the back, but it's Dual Finish. I just lightly put it everywhere to minimize that shiny look. So now I have the Contour Palette by BH Cosmetics Studio Pro. I'll be using an angled Morphe brush to apply my contour. I know this isn't a proper contour brush, but this is what I've been using. So I use this second shade here and the third shade. So first I'm gonna apply the third shade on the angle off any excess product and then I start right under my cheekbone to get that contour I just nicely apply strokes okay same on the left side So you see how it's like a slight line that way? Then I go into this lighter shade. And I go slightly above the line I just made. To make a little more of a shadow, but gradient effect. I like it to look natural. 
natural but prominent, you know? So I just keep on applying and blending any harsh lines. And I think that's about it. So after contour, I apply my highlighter and I use two different highlighter brushes. This fat brush is M510 by Morphe. And then we have M514 by Morphe as well. So one is fat, one is skinny. And I am using High Impact Highlighter Illuminator Extra by Morphe. Now I slightly stroke and blow excess product. And then I'm gonna do this top one where I see the light hitting my cheekbone. Very nice, lightly stroking upward at an angle. Okay, then I move on to the smaller brush. And this one I do the very tip of my nose. Then I move on to the top of the bridge of my nose. Then I do the Cupid's bow. I stroke downward. Okay, so that is all for highlight. Now if I want a little more of a poppin' look, I use the little brush and I go in more on the cheekbone. And then I blend it with the fat brush. There you have it. After highlight, I move on to my brows. I do not fill my brows. I just use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And then I just apply the gel and I stroke up. So I stroke up and then I press down against my skin. See the difference between this brow and the undone brow. This kind of gives more of a effect, like a fresh effect. Now I must say I have to thank my mother for these brows because I've never gotten them professionally done and I don't feel the need to fill them in, so thank you mom. <laughs> Okay, now that the brows are pressed, now I'm gonna apply a highlighter eyeshadow right on the arch of my brow. I'm gonna use a Morphe palette 35F and I'm using this corner color called Visible. I just do the very tip of this brush. This is technically an e.l.f. concealer brush. But do I use brushes for what they're really meant for? No. <laughs> okay, so I apply here. Sorry, I apply here at the very top of the arch. And then I stroke downward. So that way the light just hits me like bam. Same here, very top of the arch. And I stroke along the brow. I'm getting hot. You see this? Anyway. <clears throat> so this is where we're at so far. The last two things that I apply are lash strips and matte lipstick. 
I'm gonna apply Lash Couture by Kiss. I like the wispy look. So I've been using lash strips for about eight years now. And every pair lasts me about a month. As you can see, I already wore these lashes once before and I just strip off the glue with tweezers. So I use flathead tweezers. So now the lash is clean with glue. Now I use Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive by Ardell. Blow on the glue to make it tacky so that it sticks on your skin. I use my dominant hand to grab the eyelash on one end. And then I use my other hand to hold the other end. Let's see if I can do it on the camera. Oh God. So always make sure it aligns with each corner. I literally have no lashes. Like, I may have the brows, but I don't have the lashes, honey. Okay, so the next step is to apply some matte lipstick. Today I'm going to be using Taunt by Morphe. There you have it. Okay, so the last step, which is also my favorite step, because it's just fun to do, it feels good, it smells good, and it's just like that final like, I'm done, girl. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Here we go. So this just locks your face in, it's done, feels bright. What do you guys think? How did I do? So these are the products that I've been using for about two years now. This is the routine that I do. I have just learned what works for me and please comment down below if there are any products that you think that I should check out or review or if there's any products that you plan on purchasing or trying out that I mentioned here today. Also, I wanna to get to know my viewers a little better, so please screen record, screenshot, or just show any evidence that you are watching this video and post it on your Instagram story, and I will repost it, I will shout you out, and I'll follow you back. So I would love that so I can get to know the faces and see the faces of my viewers, and that would be so awesome. So go ahead, I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate it if you guys talk to me in the comments, hit that like button. And also if you are a new viewer, please subscribe. I am looking forward to sharing more with you guys. Whatever you guys wanna see, comment down below and I will work on it. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell so that you don't miss the next one. And of course, like I end all videos, I have to end it by saying, Live the life you have imagined. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.